Hi, well, okay, this is the, the spinning rope that I use. It's made up of what I call a Honda, which is basically the eye of the rope. Um, you see it has a metal thimble in that. Uh, that'll give it balance when we first spin it. And that's the first trick you'll do is the flat spin. So build a loop to the end, pull the knot down the rope like this, making sure it's not that way, this way. And that's gonna be called the spoke because like in a the spoke of a bicycle is what we're gonna spin with. Okay, so holding the loop and the spoke together, perhaps you might wanna put your little finger in there to keep them separated because in a minute we're gonna let go of the loop. Your left hand just acts um, like a peg just to help you see where the, the loop is. Okay, now, as if you're gonna spin, for example, a roulette wheel, you're gonna cross your arms like that. If you're left-handed, you're gonna cross them like that with the right arm underneath. Okay, let's try it. As we spin it, we're gonna let go here and keep spinning as if, as if we were stirring a cup of coffee, all right? What you don't wanna do is, is like let it go and then turn. It's spin it out of your hand and let go as if you were, well, if you drive a car, if you're letting in the clutch and just accelerating out, here goes. Slowly, you don't need to be fast. You just need to use most of your arm. It's much harder if you use your wrist because you can easily get out of time the loop. So the more arm you use, the easier it is. In fact, you might want to just use your forefinger as if it was pointing at the, the Honda, all right? Now you do this for a long time, like I'm doing here, you'll notice you're going to have to turn it in your fingers to stop it from twisting up. Imagine you're eating a plate of spaghetti and you're twisting the fork like that. You see how that knot's turning? Um, you can do the flat spin without it turning your fingers and you just twist up the rope. Um, let's, let's just try that without twisting it, without turning it in my fingers. That's twisting up pretty badly. Okay, you're going to do a lot of twisting with ropes, so you better get used to learning how to untwist it. There's many ways. The easiest way is gently just let that Honda go right to the end of the rope, like that. And then throw the rope out and shake it. You see how it's twisted there? By shaking it like that you'll find it'll untwist. Never put your foot on the loop. Never untwist it with your foot, because that'll break the rope. Just be, everything you do has to be very gentle and soft. Okay, just shake it. Most of you are probably thinking, well, how come it, the rope doesn't slide when he spins it, if it's not tied? Well, that's because of centrifugal force. So here we go. Spin it, and there it is. Okay, now if I slow down, the speed has to be increased. So smaller circle, higher the speed. So I pull on the spoke and vice versa. If I speed it up, it allows me to let the spoke slide from my fingers. See how I'm feeding it in. I'm untwisting it with my fingers. Leaning forward a little bit and I'm doing a perfect flat spin. 